seated. May be seated in the presence of God. Thank you very, very much. Let me quickly just say, let me do what God wants me to do right now. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for your lives. Convention 2021. Amen. Discover to fulfill purpose. That is a wild begin to dissect. I used to say that convention Megacon 2022, our theme will be focus on Christ. As I can hear somebody saying, focus on Christ every time, every time, focus on we don't, have, we don't have anyone to focus on. It is Christ that died. It is Christ that raised us. It is Christ that sacrificed. It is Christ that is upholding us. So we have no other one to focus on. We can't focus on the back. We can only focus on him who is the author and finisher of our faith. So Convention 2021, or Megacon 2021, focus on Christ, for anointing for it. Thank you. You heard me. Anointing for increase. I know some of your mind is taking a hey, money, 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 money. Yes, money is there. Money is there. Listen. Anointing for increase. Anointing for increase. Numerically. Numbers. Money. Age. And time. Increase in favor. Increase in favor. Increase in influence. And increase in finance. I've said this one on the first day so that those that are in charge to dissect and bring out the meat. Where is Bishop Ahimie? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see you writing. Yes, sit down. So you and your group will get together, dissect it for us. You can miss it with discovering your purpose. Amen. So it's anointing for increase for Megacon 2021. 20, 23. I want to thank all of you that came by to celebrate me when I was when I was 78. 79. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your seats. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. I pray that God in his infinite mercy and much more in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that your seed will go into your future and begin to work dividends back to you. Amen. Seed is good, but when seed brings dividends, oh, it blesses your soul and blesses my soul. Amen and amen. Those from afar, 
Those from abroad, everyone, the whole world celebrated me. The, the, the five major continents. I want to say thank you. Thank you. I couldn't have been able to do all that without you. Thank you very much. A songwriter says, Not him. Amen. Hallelujah. Men and women will honor you. This month has been declared divine solution from Jeremiah 33, verse 3, which says, Call upon me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So this month, hmm, there shall be solutions. Solutions to problems. Solutions to solutions everywhere. And blessings of the womb this month. New jobs. New businesses. The release of peace and calmness to all of us and especially to our nation. Amen. To fulfill purpose at this time, I want to do what God is impressing in my spirit. Not too long ago, from America, even before I left. But when I came back, every news time, every news time, I sit down keenly to watch the television. Heartbroken. And I want us to do something about it. If the government cannot do anything, the church has. You and I, we have the solution. Because God cannot come down here to do anything without we giving him permission to intervene. And Bishop Benson Idahosa said, if need be, heaven will intervene. Last night I told God, not if need be, there is a need. There is a need. We have no other country. This is my blessed country. The, my blessed country, Nigeria. This is not what I... And we are all here. in this country, I have every right to stand and say what I want to say because I want us to be involved that we to put up a lamentation. A lamentation is the official voice report to heaven. We are tired. The atmosphere is thick. There are different distractions. Make many, many 
Hearts are broken. Women are crying. Men are crying. Children are crying. I am tired of a young women And when they raped them, they killed them. I am a mother, and I have children. Tonight, you will hear different messages on fulfilling your purpose. But this is what God is impressing in my spirit, that this is the time for us to lift this nation up. I am tired. I am tired. I'm tired of fear in the land. Children in the bush, on the road, in the hotels, at homes. I'm tired. Tired of banditry. Storms and floods sweeping men and women away. Children running from schools. Running from schools. Where are you at home? I don't want them to kidnap me. Oh, God. Is this Nigeria? Nigeria that we are proud of? Nigeria that is blessed? Oh, I lift my voice tonight and I cry to the heavenly God. Lord Jesus. Oh, do something. Children run. Why? Courtism. That make people's life in fear. We can't travel from here to Kaduna without a fear of being kidnapped. We can't. Yes. Because the people that are supposed to give us solution, they carry away their faces. They turn away as if, you know, it not concern me. My children, they obodo you, My children are here. Your children are here. I was listening to one pathetic story on TV. A man sat and cried. You know, when women cry, I said, God just put uh, the tears there for them. But when a man cries, it's a thing that has touched him deep, deep down. The man said, I'm tired of running away from home. Every night I run away from home. And the woman came and said, My husband has been killed. Two children killed. This two little one, I run to, I run somewhere every night to preserve. People, if it doesn't touch you, we need to do something. God hears the voices of his children. And I want us to know that God we definitely intervene. I am tired of our own children. Children running without being pursued by visible means, men. Small little children, four years old, Three years old. What have they done to them? I am tired. I'm not speaking 
of the political arena or angle. I'm not speaking from the, I'm speaking from the spirit. Those politicians, their days are numbered. Their days are numbered. In this conference, in this convention, we are going to put them to their places. We are going to let them know that there is an end. There is an end. They cannot just put us in confusion. They come to the television. They open papers and are reading lies, deception to you and I. I don't know how you feel when you see them. But is this mega con who will put them to where they belong? Yeah. That enough is enough. Enough is enough for our land. And I think this is the mind of God. This is the mind of God. touch me. Well, I want you to look around. Look around to your neighbor's uh, welfare or houses. Look around in the village. Look around in the city. Look around in your job places. You will understand what I am saying. We will arise and raise a lamentation as I said to heaven for heaven to in intervene. We will also arise and pray against Bokanizing. Bokanizing is separation, dividing on uh, 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 on on or ethnic groupings. They are agitating for it now. If you Yorubas go. Let the Igbo, oh, let the Igbos go. Let the Northerners go. Forgetting that God owns the land. If we allow them to go, if we support them to go, how do we, how do we evangelize? You mean if I'm going to hold a crusade in Numa here, I have to go to the embassy. And if they like, they give me visa. If we have many, many countries See uh, Armenia, now Turkey. See uh, 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 North and South Sudan. My husband and I, we had a crusade in Sudan. They were one. But now it's two, the North and the South. The South is struggling, struggling heavily. Is that what we want Nigeria to be? God has made us one, and one we will re agitating. Yeah, we will go. We will do our own. Yeah, it's good. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Action is expensive. So I want us tonight. Yorubas will not go, the Igbos will not go, we will be together. We will be together and salvage this land. Amen.
You don't want any struggle. Before Jesus came, it was <laughs> the Jews and the Gentiles. That was the world. The Jews and the Gentiles. The Gentiles were called inferior because they have no covenant. Jesus came. That separate them. And today there is no Jews, there is no Greek, there is no male, there is no female. We are one in Christ. And that is what your purpose and my purpose should be. That's it. That's what we should do. That is the only job Jesus gave to us. To all of us here, then we will blind ourselves with light. We need to carry the light out somewhere in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't want our nation to break. Jesus broke the walls of partition. And anyone who accepts him, who accepts Jehovah, Jesus, as Savior, is one. That is why we calmness tonight. Thank God for this rain that came. I think it's an answer to our prayer. Calmness, peace, tranquility to us and to this nation. Peace to the raging storm and peace to every heart. In the name of Jesus. Fear thou not. Hallelujah. For I am with thee, be not dismayed. For I am thy God. Mm. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Yes. of my righteousness. Amen. Amen. God is saying to you and I, don't be afraid. Don't fear. For I am with you. Don't be dismayed. For I am your God. There is nothing our God cannot do. So as the body of Christ gathered from all over the world, even though this is just a representation, it's okay. He will uphold you and I. If we remain under his canopy, fear, I don't worry because I am under his canopy. Not afraid of anything. God cannot say no. First Peter 5, 
7. If your heart says and lift our voices to heaven and say, Father, intervene. We are embarrassed. The whole world is watching us. Casting all your care upon Ooh. him for he careth for you. He careth for who? If he cares for you and you are confident of the care that nation and cry to God and say, Father, we are tired. This is the whole world. The, the five major continents are here. Even though they are not men, it's okay. We are abiding by our protocol. Your Excellency, we are abiding by your rule. We are going to stand to pray. He said, cast all your him because he's a father that cares. He's not a father that turns his eyes away when things are, are in destruction. He's not a father that looks and says, you're not concerned me. No, 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 no. He is a father that cares. He is a God that is, he, he is almighty. He is a covenant keeping God. If we hold him to now, say, Father, you are the covenant matter. We are all gathered here. This is what God put in my spirit to say tonight. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. So call upon me. Call upon me. Tonight we are going to call upon great Jehovah. And I will answer you. And he will answer you and I. Amen. And show you great and mighty things mm. which thou knowest not. Amen. You believe that? It is true that the country is in shambles. Darkness everywhere. People are suffering. People are crying. No. So we're going to rise up and we are going to pray. I'm going to still say something about fulfilling your, 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 your purpose. Now this is the church. This is where the are celebrated. You know where they were going. The Spirit of God was telling me, see, this is the answer. This is the answer. This is the answer. This is the answer. Celebration of joy. This is the answer. Celebrating the Christ that died. This is the answer. You see, we cannot celebrate and rejoice everywhere like as we did here today. No. But where we were filing past, was joy and we want to transmit that joy to this nation. I am tired of every day when you listen to television three, three died uh, uh, I mean 14 were kidnapped 17 we have a God I say we have a God we have, a God we have a God that when we cry to he hears and answers us I say it's because the church is not showing enough light to their world we have the solution this month is a month of solution Amen. that is why I said you and I we must rise to pray 
It is time to arise and to tell the political class that everything is not in their hand. Their life is in the hand of God. And if they refuse to live in peace, they will live in pieces. Oh, yes. They will leave. They will leave. They will forget their heart. They will forget their, their briefcase. They will run for their dear lives. Nobody will pursue them. Oh. Nobody will pursue them. But the Holy Spirit, the unknown, unknown God to them, will begin to put fire. I'm tired of their deception, tired of corruption. No ways, what about you? Our children are not in school. They go to university, they don't know when they will come out. I'm tired. It was not so before. If a child goes into a university before he or she comes out, a job is waiting. A car is waiting. A, 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 a house is waiting. But we, when they enter now, we don't know when they will finish. We will not allow this country to be in ruins. Evangelism is our task. And we must preach it. We must preach it. We must speak solution to this situation. The church can only support good governance. Agitation for the truth, justice, equality, equity, and honesty. We should be able to speak against corruption, injustice, bad leadership, and speak good life to our people in the name of Jesus. Do you believe that we should raise our voice to your feet with me? Open your mouth as a child of God. Open your mouth as a child of God. And speak calmness. We speak calmness to our country. We speak peace. We speak peace. Peace to this country. Peace to our nation. Peace, calmness. Barota Rasku Frahates Kaladon de Prenandos, in We decree and declare calmness, peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Brigada Baba Santala Baba Bacasante. Those that are not killed, they are trafficked. Trafficked to other nations. They are so. Oh, this cannot be. Our God speedily. 
in the name of Jesus. Barados Apprendish, Mangro Tokosi Karadon Japan. Lift your voice to God. Bishop Egoa, come and stand with me here. We are sit there, O God. We decree their seat vacant. Ingre paradonze mambre kele no nosia, jonzo prekete balegre desh kala bayada desh, bamba zonska braha do kolodosia, ire konzo fripe beleski, barako grato jakre lato yades, ikra demba brone kele goushi kala dia, brosi gresha la doya. Baboko shata yala. Ora con se We come against the evil deeds in the name of Jesus. Evil shall not strive again. Fire shall not the judge of the whole earth avenge his own elect Woo! that cried unto him day and night. He said, I tell you the truth. He oh shall God. avenge him. Oh God. Let's say, Our Father, arise and avenge us. Arise, arise and avenge us. Arise and avenge us. Oh Lord, arise and avenge us. Lord. Avenge the innocent Lord. Avenge the cry of the children. Avenge the Lord. Avenge the Lord. And avenge us, Lord. Avenge the innocent Lord. Avenge the innocent Lord. Avenge the Lord. Avenge the tears of children. Avenge the tears of the widows. Avenge the tears of the widows. Avenge the tears of children. O Lord, arise and avenge. Ele gaba shaba. Father, avenge Father, avenge Father, avenge Father, avenge Oh God, donate with the 
We raise the voice of lamentation. We have brought the agenda, the agenda of the witch. We have brought the agenda of the witch. We have brought every voice. We have brought every voice. agenda. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't hesitate. When it is time to say hallelujah, don't hesitate. Ask the bishop prays. Bishop. We are not playing here. I am in tears. My heart is torn. Every time I look at the news, oh God. Innocent souls are being slaughtered like goats. Jesus. Please listen very carefully and say amen. Yes, our Bishop. Lord and our God. Ah. Hey. You are the unchanging changer of men and yes. circumstances. Yes, yes. Oh yes. Lord, behold the tears of widows. Jesus. Jesus. Behold the cry of orphans. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Behold God, the voice of innocent blood. Tonight we come unto you. Every agenda of the wicked in this country. Tonight we are of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise. Oh Lord, arise. Let there be revival in this country again. We stop the sword. Amen. We come to declare that God is enough. Amen. The, the killing is enough. Amen. The destruction is enough. Amen. The agitation is enough. Amen. The protest is enough. Amen. We shout is enough. Amen. It's enough. He said, no. Amen. Amen. We ask for the arrival of the Prince of Peace. Amen. Let your glory invade this country. Let your glory invade this country. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We stop the decrease of the wicked. Yes. We rewrite our own decrees. Yes, Lord. We declare there shall be peace in the land. There shall be progress in the land. There shall be prospect in the land. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Who is wonderful? He is Jesus. Who is powerful? He is Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sing before the church. But the government shall be upon the shoulder of the church. Hallelujah. It came to a time in Nigeria that we go to eat a gunje. We soil our mouth and we can't talk. During the days of my father, the Archbishop Benson Itahosa, he spoke truth. You are going to open your mouth and say, the church, the leadership, we come to the full knowledge of God yes. and that know just. that the hunger yes. is just for temporary to not consume yes. them. You are going to open your mouth and declare judgment against every negative feeding they have found. the name of Jesus. Every evil meat they have given to the church. Every evil thing they have fed the church. You are going to open your mouth and say, I declare judgment against them. I declare judgment against them. Every evil leadership in the Against the evil. Against the evil. Against the out of every dead thing, put us out of every death in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going Amen. to pray to say that that villa can no more accommodate evil leadership. Amen. You will shut the door 
I stand on the authority of Christ the Most High God. And I shut the villa from accepting anything evil in this nation. And so everyone that has not been put there by the church is uprooted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cannot hear you. You in need Jesus to declare name. certain things. Shut the gates of that house of villa. I said the presidency in the from name here of Jesus. to the Senate or House of Rep, House of Assembly, whatever they are called, that they will not be evil. The righteousness of God will exalt us. We come against the evil. We come against the enemy. In the name of Jesus. We command the Satan to leave. No more killing of women. No more killing of children. No more killing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Glory. Because you will overturn and overturn and overturn. I don't know if you have seen the overturn. There's an overturn coming in. Let the Lord leadership in the name of Jesus. Amen. No more pulling the heads, man. Chasing our farmers around Thank in you. the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give Thank you praise. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We Thank give you, you praise. Lord. Yes, yes, yes. For yes, you are yes. God. Thank All you, Lord. by yourself. Thank you, Father. Now, if you are a woman here, thank you, please, Lord. Please, I want to use this opportunity my mother gave me for you to open your mouth. Because let me tell you, some of those offices, you are overqualified to, to sit there. You are overqualified, but it is being manipulated, maneuvered, and they are not giving that affirmation power to the woman. You are going to cry. Oh Lord, the God of the woman, arise for us in Nigeria. Arise for us in this great nation. Open your mouth and pray. Arise for us. Voice. Give us a voice. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise forever. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. God, I stand as a mother in Zion in this nation. And I open my mouth to speak peace. Amen. I open my mouth. Calmness to the broken souls. Amen. Calmness to the widows. children are safe. Amen. Amen. We put a bow wall of fire around our children Amen. in their different schools Amen. that they will no longer kidnap them. Amen. Amen. We come against kidnapping Amen. in the name of God. Amen. Now I want you to shout the shout of victory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You may be seated. Just give me five minutes and I will be gone. Some, some nuggets about how to fulfill or what makes you to fulfill or what you discover to fulfill your purpose. Amen? Amen? Now, I said, give me 
five minutes. Where is Wally? Yes, stand. Come and stand in my front so that I know when it is. Hallelujah. Thank you. I don't want to see any movement now. Please. We don't do that in town. We don't do that in town. When our pastors are talking, we listen. When the archbishop is standing, you sit down and listen. I say I'm not preaching because you will hear messages from them. But I want to give you something. To fulfill your purpose. Number one, purpose is what you are wired for. What you are wired for, that thing that makes you to be alive, that, that thing that makes you live, that thing that you cannot just sit down and just keep quiet. That thing, you must fulfill it. I said here, purpose is key to destiny. Number one, key to destiny. You are destined to succeed. You are destined to win. You are destined to rule. I want you, when you begin to believe it, then you begin to live it. There was a time. You are not a man. Sit down. That is not your business. It is my business now. It is my business because I know that I'm wired for the truth. I am wired for the truth. That is what God has wired me for. That is my destiny. I hold it. And I talk it. I speak it. It is the key to destiny. Number two. Purpose is the end that started in the beginning. Write it down. This, this whole week, we are going to be dissecting it. It's the end that started in the beginning. When you want to begin a journey, there is a purpose in your life. Am I right? There is a purpose I'm going to Lagos. There is a purpose why I am leaving my house. So it is the end of my living home. Number three, purpose is finished. Purpose is the finished line. All is finished before the journey. Number four, purpose before you started. That's number four. Before the journey. Mm -hmm. Is the final address for your life. This is deep. This is deep. Is the final address is the thing that men will say about you, how you lived your life. How many lives were imparted? Who you touched? Who you blessed? Who you gave hope? That is why we, 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 we prayed tonight. Number seven. For number six. Purpose is the reason for being alive. P 
purpose is the reason for you to be alive. For you being alive. And it, 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 it will speak of your beginning. Mm. This is good. Number seven. Purpose precedes plans. Hmm. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that what prevails. Your purpose, number eight, your purpose preserves your life. <laughs> your purpose preserves your life. The purpose you have, it will preserve your life. You will do it without looking back. If you don't fulfill purpose somewhere, you are not satisfied. Your life is preserved by your purpose. Number nine. Your purpose frees you. Your purpose frees you. Is Bishop Bible here? The purpose of his living frees him. He can go anywhere. He can bless anyone. He can do, and he is not hiding it. You know, there are some people say, ah, no, no, don't do it to, ah, you don't know what they will say. And you have a more, how many to any, a beer money. It makes you free like a any day, anywhere, anytime. It frees you. It doesn't make you suspicious. Uh, this one, they look me one kind of. They talk on small, small low. Uh, Bishop Bokwe, waiting now. Now you only one day there. He frees him. He blesses his heart. He makes him happy. Number nine. You are not suspicious. Not suspicious. You're not afraid. Makes you free. Jesus knew what he was created for. He discovered his purpose by opening the book. Wale, the book. The book. He declared it openly in Luke 14 17 to 19. And when he closed the book, he said, Today! The scripture is fulfilled in your ears. I have come to do the will of God. May you find your purpose in this mega come. I said, stand to your feet. May you find your purpose. May you find where you left home. May you. In the name of Jesus Christ, put your hand on your head and say, Father, I thank you. I am in this conference. Reveal to me the purpose of my life. Reveal to me the things you want me to do. Reveal to me that which I'm wired for. Put your hand on your head, I said. In the name of Just pray, just pray, just pray. Open your mouth and pray. Ask God. God, I am here. I want you to reveal ah, my purpose. Why I am alive. What I'm wired for. 
Let no man take it from me. My purpose will set me free. My purpose will keep me a father, son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, shout a better amen.